Good morning. It is Friday, quarter to seven. It's March 24th. I am um, off today from work. It's the end of my long, like, and not the best work week I've ever had. So I'm happy to have the day off. I'm heading to New York with my friend Sandy, my, who is my friend from Vermont, and then Alicia, who's supposed to be on the train with me this morning, but is under the weather, so she may take a later train. I mean, she said she's going to try and take a later train, but I hope she comes, because it takes a lot to keep her down, so the fact that she feels like she needs to, like, <laughs> rest up says something. So anyway, I am um, really excited. We're staying at this place called The Beekman which is downtown, like, you know, down, down, downtown, you know, World Trade Center, Tribeca, downtown. And, um, you know, I've been down there. My brother lived in Tribeca for a long time, but um, I've never, and I mean, I've stayed with him, but I've never stayed down there. So we're going to, I think usually I spend a lot of time like uptown when I visit New York, but this trip is going to be a downtown trip. Like, I don't think we're going uptown at all. So I'm very excited. So um, I'm going to take the train. As I said, it's like, well, now it's 10 to 7. My train's at 7.20. You got to love the train because, like, I can just walk right on and it's easy. But I'm going to leave in a minute so I can grab some breakfast to bring on the train. Um, but I'm going to get in. Sandy's flight gets in at, like, 9.30. We're going to grab lunch somewhere. We don't know where yet. Tonight we're having dinner at, the ho at a restaurant at the hotel. Oh, what is the name of the restaurant? can't remember. But anyway, one of the restaurants at the Beekman. Um, so it'll be interesting. So I will keep you apprised of our progress. I'll probably try to take you along if I can on some things. You know, there's a balance of like, you know, having the phone out and like living your life. So we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, it's supposed to be like, it's still cold here. Like it's 28 degrees outside now. But um, down there, it's supposed to be like 60 tomorrow. I think today might be a little rain. I wonder if I should bring an umbrella. The hotel will have one if I need it. Um, so anyway, I'm wearing my Alexander McQueen Amazing Technicolor Dream Coat because it's like warm enough but not too warm. And then I'm wearing my favorite cost sweater, my Gucci belt, my new um, J Brand jeans, Vivier shoes. I've got my giant suitcase packed, which I wouldn't normally bring for a weekend away, but, um, so up in Vermont where Sandy lives, there's this, like, I'm not a beer drinker, but there's this beer called the Heady Topper, which apparently is, like, really popular and really hard to get. Like, it's kind of small batches, that whole thing, but so she can get it, and my brother-in-law loves it, so she brought it to me last time she was here, so I'm bringing it down, and I'm going to give it to my sister, um... So anyway, I'm carrying, this is my carry-on bag, like with my computer and magazines and stuff. And then I'm bringing my um, Dior bag. I was going to like have you pack with me last night, but it just seemed like too much work. So um, when I'm there, I can show you my outfits. And I guess that's it. Have a good one. I will talk to you later. Bye. I just checked in to my hotel. This is the Beekman, way downtown. Here is the bathroom. I can tell already we're gonna need extra towels. details like look at this kind of tapestry apparently I'll show you the main building when we go out to out of the room
Rolex or your credit card Rolex or your credit card
Good morning, it is Monday, March 27th at quarter to eight. I'm getting ready to go to work. I just came from the gym. I was in New York this weekend, so I kind of did, I did some vlogging kind of, but not a ton. So I will somewhere interspersed in here before or after, I'll put some of the stuff. But I did want to talk to you about a few things. So first of all, we stayed at this hotel called the Beekman Hotel which is down like downtown near the World Trade Center. It's a beautiful hotel. Oh my gosh, it's this old building that has um I'll insert a picture some pictures and I did some videos, but like it's this old building that has this like atrium, like nine-story atrium and like skylight and that is all original and it is just like the architecture is incredible. Like so beautiful. And then there's a really cool bar like under the H so you kind of can look up from the bar and parts of the bar into the atrium but it's also one of those cozy like lots of nice spots bars and it was definitely hopping so we went there Friday evening before dinner um and it was crowded but um because we were in the hotel they would like you know put us ahead of other people for a table. So we basically told them we want to come down at whatever time. And then they texted us and said, we have a table for you. So it was awesome. Um, we had dinner that night in the hotel. There are two restaurants in the hotel. One is Fowler and Wells. And one is, I keep forgetting the name. I'll put it here. But, um, so, Initially, we were going to be four people. Unfortunately, Alicia was sick. As, like, she has to be really sick if she doesn't come to something like this. So she was really sick. So she didn't make it to New York this weekend. So it was me, Sandy, and my sister for dinner. But I had made a reservation initially for four people. So when we got there, I said, you know, it's just three of us. And they said, oh, okay, we're going to switch your table and put you at a cozy table. And to me, that's like code word for you're going to smush us in at a table that really should be for two people. So I said to the guy at the at the front desk, I said, are you putting us at a small table that's going to be uncomfortable? And he said, oh, no, we do it all the time. And I was like, uh-huh. So they take us to this table. We sit down. I think my sister went straight down to the ladies' room. Sandy and I sat down, and I looked at Sandy. I'm like, I don't think this table's going to work. Because it was literally like the only reason they could put three because it was on a corner of a booth, and then they stuck a chair on the end, like – it was a tiny table. So I called someone else over and he immediately was like, oh no, no problem. And he put us in a lovely like circular booth like up in the front by the bar. So that was, I was very much appreciative of them moving our table. <laughs> um, and then the food was okay. Like I wouldn't recommend going for the food, but it was definitely packed. Like it's definitely a popular spot. That was Friday night. Then Saturday, Sandy and I went out for a long walk and then we went up to the downtown Barney's, the one on um, 7th Avenue, I think, and 16th Street. And we, like, you know, did a little stroll through there. So I got a couple things. Well, I got really just one thing. And it was only because we were looking around and Sandy, um, I forget what. I don't know. All of a sudden I smelled this fragrance. And I was like... Oh my God. I said to somebody else that worked there, I'm like, that fragrance smells so good. And so he knew who it was. Like she was like down a little ways. He was like, Chris, come over here. Tell them what fragrance you're wearing. So I went downstairs and tried it on and like wore it around to make sure I liked it. So we'll come back to that. But she was amazing because she gave us, she was like, what are you ladies doing? Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. So she gave us all these um, recommendations. And we were like, well, we're going to go for lunch. And um, initially we were going to go to Fred's at Barney's. But it was a really nice day and it was nice to walk. So she recommended a few places in the West Village. So one was Bavette on Groove Street between Bleecker and something. 
One was called Isoldi. So we went to Bavette first, and it was like literally there was a line of people queuing up outside. And I was like, no, no, we are not interested in that. And then we went to Isoldi, Il Soldi, I think, and it was closed. It's not open for lunch. And then the third place she recommended was called Via Carota, all in the same neighborhood. This is the little card from there. We had the best lunch. Like, I love this place. So we had, we shared an order of the steamed artichoke with aioli. We shared, well, we shared everything. Then we got, um, they had this crostini with stracticella cheese and like cherry tomatoes and capers. Really good. We got some prosciutto, you know, really nice thinly sliced prosciutto. And then we shared, you know, everything is small, like a small bowl of cacio e pepe. If you're Italian, if you eat Italian food, you know, but if you're not, it's pasta with like a sauce of cheese and, and pepper, like basically ground black pepper. And it was so, it sounds simple and it doesn't sound exciting, but if you do it right, like that's the beauty of Italian food. I think simplicity is bad, like really good ingredients cooked properly are just delicious. And that's exactly what this was. It was so good. We had a lot of wine. We had so much fun. So then on the way back, like, there are lots of shops in that area in the West Village. So we stopped in, there's an Nina Bing store. And I actually, you guys know, I have those gold um, Max Mara booties. So whenever I, like, do links to them, because they're old, I link, the, Nina Bing has a pair of gold booties. So I'm like, I want to go in and try on her shoes so I know sizing. And they didn't have the gold boots in there in my size. But I did try on a pair of brown ones, and I ended up buying them. Um... They're so pretty. But these, so these are the Jane boots. There's another version coming out that has a little bit of a pointier toe. I think the same kind of heel in silver. So I think I might get the silver. But um, these are a nine. I think they only come in whole sizes. Um, they feel a little tight here, but they're going to stretch. Like they're, they're, they fit in the length. So if they fit you in the length, they should stretch in the width. Um, so I got these from the Anina Bing store. Um, is that all I was going to say about Anina Bing? But I, I was happy to, because I bought, you know, well, I have that leather jacket from Anina Bing, um, but I've never been able to go into a store. The people that worked in there, their gal was really, really friendly, too, and helpful. Um, okay, then I said to Sandy, I'm like, because I could just have gotten the fragrance here in Boston, or I could have ordered it online, but I was like, you know, I want the girl, like the girl, like she's the reason I bought it, so I kind of want her to get the credit for it. So this is it. It's Portrait Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mall. And there's a whole explanation on the back. But it's like rose, musk, frankincense. Um, what else is in here? This is unlike a lot of my fragrances. I think this is usually a women's, well, Portrait of a Lady. Yes, it's usually a women's fragrance. So let's see. Okay, Oriental Rose, um, Cinnamon, Sandalwood, Musk, Patchouli, and Frankincense. So, so they apparently they do this. It's supposed to be like a little book jacket. And then you take it off and there's your little book and then here is the bottle and I love it like I love it it smells really good I think you don't need a lot like I just did two light squirts this morning um, I think this is one that's gonna last all day so oh and the other thing I did buy this at Zara um, just this cute little like dusty pink jacket with a ruffle sleeve I, I know I have a cardigan on but pretend I don't um, you know, it's just a cute little, cute little jacket. And then that's it. Um, oh, then Sunday, no, Sunday night, Saturday night, Sandy and I ended up go. we actually redid our whole, like all the plans for the weekend because now with just two of us, we could kind of just like fly by the seat of our pants, you know? And so we kind of had like, we just did everything unscheduled and what we felt like doing at the time. So Saturday night, we ended up going to dinner at um, Blue Ribbon Sushi in Soho. 
so good. So they don't take reservations. You go, you put your name in, and then they'll call you when your table's ready. And they told us, they said it'll be about an hour, and true to form, it was an hour. And we just went around the corner to Raul's to have a cocktail. And it was like the best sushi. So delicious. I was very pleased. And then that was it. Then I came home yesterday. Um, I ended up flying home instead of taking the train because um, – my train was until noon, and Sandy was going to the airport anyway, so I was like, meh, I'll just switch to a flight. So I was home by 1 o'clock, which was great. Um, and I, I, like, I felt a little under the weather, so I, like, napped yesterday. I was really exhausted. I napped. I had groceries delivered. Like, I unpacked, and then I repacked because I'm going to Florida on Wednesday. So there you go. So anyway, enough yapping. Um, where is this blouse from? I can't believe I can't remember. This blouse is from whatever that store, Anne Fontaine. Okay, Anne Fontaine. This is a Neiman Marcus sweater. These are my J. Brand Maria jeans. I'm wearing an Hermes belt and my Chanel flats, and I'm going to carry my um, Gucci Marmont bag, and that's it. I'm not wearing really any other jewelry because I just don't feel like it. I know work's going to be another, like, nightmare today. Like, work, like, even though I had Friday off, I had to deal with some stuff Friday it's not been like this in a long time. So I guess I really can't complain. So that was 10 minutes and 54 seconds of yapping. So I'm going to peace out. <laughs> Bye.